Okay. I you think we all are. Room. Okay. Yeah, so that's kind of the go-to. And I will never find anything. Neither will I. No. Is that all? No, it's only there. Yes. Wait, did three? Did all three of us roll sevens? Two of you yeah. did. Yes. Well, actually, yeah, technically, all of you did. Yeah. All right. I grizzle. did not. Grizzle. Because hide. your your massive eyes on your hawk body are so like just like hone in on prey and loot. You start scouring this room for anything you could find. And you find yourself an inanimate skeleton, which you think could be used as an intimidation puppet. Would you like to take it? Is, did you get the idea from me saying steal his head and use it as a puppet? Look, that's irrelevant right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Now, Barry, as a reminder, you still have a skeleton leg and a skeletal sword in your inventory. The sword doesn't really do yeah, anything I've different, but the leg, you never know. Okay, okay. lovely. Alright, so how do I use my puppet skeleton? You would do a performance check. So you can do one right now if you like. Um, is it- Can I? It's already gone. Is it unlimited uses, I'm guessing? Absolutely. Cool. And uh, what, what that'll gonna... do, it is a chance to intimidate an enemy, cause them to lose a turn. But you gotta roll high for it. Alright. And it doesn't count as an action. It's like a- just like an extra use. Yeah, bonus action. Uh, yeah, just don't take the piss. <laughs> I'm going to get Baza to walk over to the body of the other skeleton that didn't get their sword stolen and pick it oh, up. You mean so the that, one that exploded? Yeah, so he's picking, like, he's holding a sword in one hand and his, like, staff in the other. So he's sort of like, um, Gandalf. Okay. Baza okay. walks over to the skeleton that exploded. Oh, oh into a massive fiery mess of ash and picks up a sword handle and nothing more because everything exploded and now refuses to drop it. Oh, There's no, no sword, just a handle. Just a handle. Look, <laughs> maybe, maybe... He points Baz's... to it with his other hand and looks so overjoyed with his discovery. Maybe Baz is <laughs> like a uh, Warhammer 40k orc. He, if he believes hard enough, it's true. It is a sword. <laughs> Maybe you can like put like have like a magic sword. Yeah, oh. it's it's a, it's, a, it's a baton. He absolutely just, can, but it will cost you. Too now. He absolutely can. Uh, you know, you know, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do you a solid, okay? He can <laughs> turn that into a magical sword at the expense <laughs> of something from himself if you roll high enough. How's that? Sure. Um, okay, I need you to roll a minimum eight. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that roll. Reroll. <laughs> Eleven. Beautiful. Baza has used all of his magical energy, not all of his magical energy, but a good part of his magical energy, rips off his left leg, jams into the salt hill, and it becomes the ultimate leg sword called a lord. No, called a seg. He now wields a Does seg. Does he still lose something? Yeah, he lost Wait. his leg. Wait, no, yeah, he's, he's got a spare bad. leg. He's so got now a spare it... leg. Yeah, yeah, ba Baza. I've got, I've, got a, I've got a spare leg here for you, bud. Splendid. I'm gonna need you to roll a um an acrobatics check. <laughs> All right. Do, do cool. you Can install I use the leg so, so do you install the leg successfully? Yes you do. Unfortunately that other skeleton was one foot shorter. So now he has an awful limp. walk. <laughs> <laughs> and his movement has been reduced from six grids to four. I've better better four grids than three, I would say. But and now he, now he has a magical seg. He now has yeah. a magical seg. You gotta think about that. Instead of hopping along as well, he is just limp along. Baz is so sexy. Can we change, <laughs> change his name to Baz the Limp Along? No, Baz the Sexy. <laughs> yeah, Baz the Sexy. <laughs> Baz the Sexy! Baz the Sexy <laughs> has been reborn. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Fantastic. Now, now this room has been fully explored and the enemies dealt with, you are free to continue into the Death Goal and through the western door. That's I'll nice. set up again to shoot anything behind the opening door. I will uh, open the door. Are we not sending the sexy first? Uh, ba no, Basil will be. Now. Ba yeah, Basil will be our now. rear guard. So, uh, it's now too cool. <laughs> then I will, I will go for uh, go go in. I guess I kind of. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, there. Yes. Yeah, doors are weird. They seem off center. Oh, the reason they for that are. is it's where the actual door itself is. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, in between two squares. Yeah, so that's why. Okay. Um, I didn't mean to do that. So sure. then, do a I'll do a perception check to check for traps. Okay, no problem at all. Eleven. You see several spikes poking out the wall just in front of you at the intersection. Here, just makes it easier Hold for up, you to signify. Oh wait, here. You see spikes popping out of the wall, so you think it could be a pressure plate somewhere. It's best can to jump over it, go underneath it, but you don't know where the pressure plate is. But it's definitely ask, in the room you're in now. Can I ask the spikes really nicely to not come out of the wall? Yes, absolutely. You're gonna need to roll a 12. A little work. 14, good a gravy. Little. See. What others don't know about the T69 Smooth Operator, he is actually from the future. The other players don't know this. The other adventurers don't know this. He has imbued the wall itself into AI. That's it. Skynet. Mark Zuckerberg. All that shit into the wall. <laughs> and he has convinced the spikes not to come out. And they're like, yeah, sick, bro. It's all good, man. Just, like, just walk their way. And they can oh, look through his brother? safely. Let's Who are you go. talking to? Uh, the, uh, the, the walls. The walls are my friends. But Kanye didn't. Yeah. Be fucking mental, ain't ya? How did that uh, work? I don't, I don't know. Uh, don't, don't ask. No, nobody, uh, from where I am is, uh, understands it either. I'm, uh, I'm asking. I wanna know. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Who the fuck is that? Fuck's that? Uh, I don't know him. He's a great Star, wizard. reaction roll, please. 17, nope. oh my goodness, you see a guillotine okay. trap swinging from the ceiling, you break straight down to the limbo and go right beneath it, no problem at all, but uh, it's still swinging, exactly where Star is right now, swinging back and forth, back and forth, you know if you touch this, it will do catastrophic damage to you, you need hey. to avoid uh, this, Mark, 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 you... so Star, just, just go like one square forward because you dodge through it, like you limbo uh, underneath it, yep, I'm, cool, yep, all right, so I'm gonna need you guys to do an acrobatics shen acrobatic can, shenanigan check, please. You need uh, to. Can I, I use the? Can I just hold it? Can, no. can I use the sword that I found to wedge it? It is swinging from the ceiling. Yeah, but surely okay. it's slowed down enough that I could just like grab it. It's not slowing down at all. It is, in fact, picking up pace. Can can I um can, can I sing it a lullaby up? to put it to sleep? Yes, you're going to need like to roll. Slow it down. You were going to need to roll a 16. Okay. Unfortunately, ah. your lullaby of itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout wasn't quite to the guillotine's traps liking. It this is still right, swinging. It is still bitch. gaining speed. I need you guys to do a shenanigans the acrobatics uh, check. I'm just going to roll oh. through it. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I'm gonna need I you to do a roll as well. Yeah, great, you guys walk past me, no problem at all. You guys don't even notice it's there, you just walk straight on me. However, These are the rolls we need. However, yeah. Bazza the Segzi needs to roll too. Yeah, oh. are we not checking for more traps? <laughs> Bazza, remember, he is Segzi. He is heavily slower. He, You need to roll a 15 to keep Mr. Segzi going. Can I oh, come on. have him take off his body parts and roll them along the ground so I can put him back together across here? Yes, actually. Uh, you'll need to roll a six. That's a much lower roll. Fourteen. Hey. Fantastic. Oh, it does take a lot of time, though. So basically, Barry slowly disassembles himself. He throws his weapons first, no problem at all. And unfortunately lands in Cookie's leg, so Cookie takes five How damage. How does he get the last piece across? I haven't finished yet. Damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> unfortunately, Cookie just takes five damage for that, unfortunately, because the, the Segzi sword went straight into his hip, unfortunately. He then throws his Kill. stuff, which then hits Zigzog for three damage. Unfortunately, he got you right in the face. And then he slowly right, throws all his eight. all his body parts under the under the guillotine trap. And then it's just his head left, which he kind of like rolls. And no problem at all. I will uh, put him back together. <laughs> Cool, you put him back together, you take the parts well, out of We all <laughs> like, fells. do like a little puzzle. <laughs> yeah, you spend about 10 minutes just putting puzzle. together the puzzle, like, 
And we like put him together decent. wrong. Just the of his hand. Yeah. Of his foot. I'm not so sure. you guys now are going to need to do a Lego roll. Yes, a Lego building set roll, please. <laughs> Excellent. Without okay. the instructions. Okay. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Oh no! That's okay. Zigzag's got this. He's like, are you fucking kidding me? That's a Star, lame. You need to roll as well. <laughs> oh, you did roll. No, Why wait. I don't this find game? this. We gotta find this humorous. <laughs> okay. So basically, T69 and Barry are like, we got this. We got this. And unfortunately, just smack him into the wall, put a leg into his eye, put his finger into his, like, into the sword itself. It was a whole mess. Whole mess. Um, now he's been permanently debuffed to the next direct hit will kill him. Will destroy ba Bazaar the Segzi. But th and Grizzle just was like smacking him together, like like a hammer and nail, trying to trying to get that to work. But unfortunately, it was too delicate for that. But thankfully, Zigzog, being a goblin inventor, was able to put literally put him back together again, like Humpty Dumpty and shit. And so Baza is all good, but now he is extremely brittle, and will die on the next hit. Next enemy hit oh. will, ki will kill him. Yes. Can I'm we gonna look for the traps. traps again. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Are you at the end of this hallway? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you can only check for traps in your sight line, by the way. Okay. So you can see yeah, well, up to this end in front of you, you can't see like this room over here. You can't see this. Do one here, peek into the room and do another one there. Cool. No worries at all. Roll for me an investigation check. Yep. 18. No problem at all. There is nothing here. It's a clean hallway. Okay. Uh, just peek into the room. Cool. Uh, do another you, you have a traps. full view of the room here there is nothing hidden there's nothing outside of darkness and yeah do another roll for me seven ev can everyone do a roll perhaps 20 zigzag good gravy friend you investigate so hard you investigate all over this place it wasn't that 20 but it's fucking good enough you went over to the western wall and you saw a mechanism in there which you then started tinkering with like just just over here Right, like just here. You start tinkering with it, and then you pull out a large javelin. It was going to clearly skew any poor soul who was going to come up, unfortunately, through this section. And you find another one here that was going to skew you if you tried to walk down here. Like, I cannot see where you are pinging. Oh, I wasn't. I was, I was using. I was using Bazaar to demonstrate. Here and here. Yes, that would be why. So yeah, you now pull out two large javelins, and due to your wondrous expertise, you th realize you could load them into your gut. Yes. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for the clarification. Would you like to hold I them? I wasn't sure where exactly he wanted me to load them. Oh, load load them your ass. Would, would you like to hold on to them? Would you like to throw them away? Uh, like yeah, I'll hold on to the two javelins. Cool, so you got two javelins that are as tall as you. No, they're as tall as... Uh, let's go as, uh, as tall as 6'9 over here. And yes, yeah, so you put them in your back, no problem at all. So now, my friends, you are down to this long, dark hallway. The only light source you have that can penetrate the darkness is the torch Barry is holding. He would have to lead. Well, looks Barry, like I'm go first. gonna. Yeah, I fucking got it. Just gonna right, before we before we uh, go fully into this, I just wanna just wanna have a quick peek just to see if there's anything down here. Your torch only sees three, four grids in front of you. You don't see any enemies though. Okay. Everything seems fine. Okay, so I'm going to move two grids in and then do a perception check for cool. traps. Roll it for me, baby. Two. Fuck. You look at it, you're like, prob fine. Probably fine. Yeah, it looks fine. Fuck it. <laughs> Start moving down. All right, you just keep moving down slowly two grids at a time? Yeah. Are all of you going uh, down? Yeah. Right, Eventually. I'll go do uh, another... Gonna do another Baz check is here. Up the rear. Also, Bazar is following. I just oh. don't want to move him right now. I'll move him later, okay? Yep. You roll a six. Uh, looks fine still. You look at it and you're like, probably fine. Everyone, okay. please do a reaction roll. Oh, fuck. Everyone needs to roll. Okay, someone has to roll a ten or above. Anyone. Shit. That was a absolutely splendid grizzle and zigzag. No, and T69. For some reason, Barry doesn't give a shit at all. 
<laughs> has realized the ceiling is falling in. The ceiling is slowly closing in. You have to run. You have to run really fucking, fucking fast. Leg it. You have to go. The ceiling is closing in. There's only one way to go. It's the door in front of you. You have no other option. You have to go forward. The, the goal Let's is go, forcing bitches. you through. Right. I'm booming. Win. Zigzog just made it through without problem. Just. Good gravy. You find yourself in a very large, open, expansive room filled with prison cells and the clanging of chains. There is things in here with you, but you don't know if they're in the prison cells or wandering the aisles with you. You need to roll a perception check. You know what? Fuck it. Roll a magic cast on the torch all of you if someone rolls a 10 or above you're all good fantastic you can see the entire Everyone room you have yeah. imbued this staff or not the staff sorry the torch with some of your life force if you, you have magical life force you don't take health but it lights up the entire room and you can see creatures in these prison cells they're locked behind locked in the prison cells but you can see these things these abominations in there they are hulking creatures shorter than barry but still very, very large, with parts of their bodies on the ground growling at you, but they're chained to the floor with the cell doors closed. But you see, you see something else. You see the faint blue lights. Or fireflies. I just start shooting the things through the bars. You can't shoot through the bars. They are magically immune. I know. Bullshit, right? Some fucking DM this guy is. But you see the blue... <laughs> 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 flying fires. You but see, these ones are different. You see a different firefly. You know the orange ones can be trusted, but can you trust the blue ones? I don't know if I trust fireflies. In this mm. grand room you... is a very, very long hallway with many prison cells on both sides. But you see a door all the way at the end. What would you like to do? All right, boys. What's the decision? I don't know if these uh, these moonlight flies can be trusted. All right. They look like they're uh, going into one of the cells, and I'm sure I can see some fucking creature through the door, uh, through through the bars. Well, it is chained up, so you know, maybe it won't uh, be able to attack. What, what, what if we throw Segzi in there? <laughs> I don't... Yeah, I guess, uh... Baza, you got this. I'll send Baza in. They're all locked, remember? Oh, they are? Uh, yeah, they're, 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 they're all locked, they're all locked. I'm... I'm a rogue, so I, I... I attempt to pick the lock. Which one? Uh, the one that I'm stood right in front of. Uh, can I use my mechanical knowledge to help barry and give him advantage these are magical doors that are mechanical devices as well but you need a 20. what to help him no to open it even with a buff and a bonus you need a 20. well then no <laughs> unfortunately you're unable to open the door but you get the sinking suspicion that all the doors are the exact same it would be fruitless to try and open them all one by one all right all right got it I'm okay, just you, worried they're all going to open at once and then everything's going to charge out. Well, That's exactly you, what's going to happen. You only have yep. one option, my friends. My adventure uh, party is to go to the door on the east because the room behind you has been fully closed in. You are trapped. Can I we do a... along the ground for pressure plates? Absolutely. All of you roll a shenanigans check. Can you... Back to below. Grizzle is the ultimate hunter in this group. She would grow up in the woods hunting elephants, my goodness, and hunting bears, hunting man, if you will. So she knows what to look for in terms of traps and pressure plates Your and all this kind of thing. She is like a bloodhound and does not find a single pressure plate in the entire room, or at least on the pathways that are accessible. We can go, boys. Okay. All right. Zigzag piss bolts across the room. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> and you Just see more and more fireflies in some of the cells with some of the creatures. It seems you were potentially right not to trust the blue fireflies. So they aren't all the same. Fuck these moonlight flies. 
True. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm okay. gonna open the door. You open the door straight away and you are blinded by the vast amount of light in this hallway. But it's a very small hallway. You see a, you see a doorway which is partially visible through but not very much and you see a closed door to your north. Where would you like to go? Man, the door to the north. Sorry? Yeah. Shouldn't we just keep the doors that are closed closed and start ticking off which is the wrong way? So well, go no through the one that's open. Loss. I'd uh, rather not have um, anything come up behind us. That's fair enough. So, uh, Baza, where are you? Oh, shit, sorry, that's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm moving in there, sorry about that. <laughs> All good. Uh, if you click and drag, they just move I'm gonna until they hit a wall. Open the door. Open the door to your north. You are greeted by lights, and you are greeted by a lot of weird and strange smells, a lot of weird and strange noises. You see a laboratory, a very expansive laboratory, filled with equipment you've never seen before. You think it's very, very odd. Even Zigzog himself, being an inventor, being a scientist, being a magician of sorts, has no idea what any of this equipment may be for without further investigation. I'm immediately going to see... start just shoving machinery non-delicately into a backpack. But you see a man, a man towards the end of the room, working at a desk.